right, friends, so we worked a little bit on our Matisse room today. We drew the sides of the room and the patterns, and I'm gonna show you a little bit more about how to use your construction paper to cut out some forms and draw those forms and cut them out and glue them into your room. So grab your pencil and your construction paper, or you can use a black marker. And I'm gonna add a table to my room. And just like how we made this room look like it goes way, way, way back into space, I'm gonna make the table look like it also goes way back into space, since space was a word that we learned about today. So the first shape I'm gonna draw on my brown paper is a trapezoid. This is a shape that has a long straight line to start, a short straight line behind, and then two diagonal lines on the side. So that's the tabletop. Normally, sometimes you will draw a table with just a square, but this one is looking like it has space. It goes way back into space. In the front, we're gonna draw some skinny rectangles on the edges here. Those are the legs of the table. And then in the back, we're gonna draw two little legs to show even more space. Do you see how that looks like it kind of goes back this way into space? So that's your table that you can use for your room and you can cut that table out with your scissors and you can glue that into your room right about here. I'm gonna glue that right in the middle here in the corner of the room. Then on top of the table, I put a fish tank and here's what I drew for my fish tank. I drew a cylinder. This is a form as well. I started with a really flat, skinny oval, almost like a pancake. Then on the sides of the oval, I drew two straight lines that come down like this. And then on the bottom here, I'm gonna make a curved line that connects those two straight lines similar to this curve on the top here. They're almost the same exact curve. And that's a cylinder. It looks kind of like a cup or a can. If you want, you can draw some fish in your fish tank. I'm just gonna draw two little fishy friends. And you can even color in the water blue if you want. Look at that, that looks really neat. So I'm gonna cut that out and I can put that on top of the table and glue that right here into my room. I think I'm also going to draw a flower vase with some flowers. We're also gonna draw another cylinder for the flower vase, but this one is a little bit different. This one has a small pancake oval top, two straight lines that come down, but we're gonna make these lines curve a little bit like this. Curve, curve, and the bottom of the vase is gonna have a little curve like that. So that's just like a really skinny tall cylinder. And that's my flower vase. I can even add some patterns to it if I want. Sometimes flower vases have some neat designs on them, decorative designs. And I can put my flower vase on top of my table as well in the middle of my room. So use your scissors and cut that out and then glue that onto your table. I'm gonna add some flowers to the flower vase. So on my pink paper, or you can use red or a different color, make some organic shapes, kind of like Matisse makes those really organic looking shapes like flowers. Now when I cut these flowers out, I'm gonna stick them right on top of the vase like this. And I'm also gonna draw two little stems like this. You can put the stems on the paper or you can just draw them. And then I think I'm gonna cut out some leaves on my green paper to put next to my flowers in my flower vase. Now friends, you don't have to draw all these objects and put them in your room. You can draw different objects. Some friends last year wanted to put people in their room or a bed in their room. Use your colorful construction paper to draw whatever shapes and forms you want to put in your room. So let's see how many I added. A table, one, fish tank, two, fire base, three, 
flowers four, leaves five. So you can pick three to five different objects to put in your room. When you're finished, friends, glue them all together and put all of the objects in your room in different spots on the floor. You could even put a picture frame on the wall. It's totally up to you. I cannot wait to see your art. Good luck, friends.